we are back with another episode of our Madden content series. I know guys, I promise you that the next episode will be a gun bunch tight end scheme. And I promise again, I will bring it out. But if you want, this is an emergency episode because currently we have a crazy coin making method and this method is the get the player method. And with this get the player method, you can't lose coins, I promise. And it's basically the most important things in the methods we are looking for. It is, we can't lose money. We don't want to lose money. We can't afford to lose money as no money spent guys. So that's the most important thing. And this is one of the few methods where you can't lose coins right now. And uh, what you see here on the screen is my best pull right now. So these cards can go for up to 13,000 coins right now. If, if you check the market and that's what we will do right now, you have some cards online for like see it here for like 9200 to 12000 to 13000 and you can sell this card off very very uh, for very huge amount of coins um, and i will see if i can put it on the market i'm not quite sure it could be that i reached the limit already of 20 20 cards on the auction house we will we will see here uh, give me some few seconds then we will check this out and I will put it on the market for 9,300. Um, no, I can't. I've reached limit, but I will put it online in the in the next <clears throat> in the next few minutes. So right now, since I sold a card, I will try it again. Let's give me give me a few seconds. Go to to the newest, then go to my last pull auction and put it on the market for nine or for not for nine i will put it on the market for something with nine thousand go nine thousand four hundred put it on the market and so i i will show you this method where i pulled those cards and then i will show you which which cards i basically put on the market and we will we will right now pull pull some cards here what you can say about this method is you, you go to, to the marketplace, then you go to the featured ones, and then you go to get a player. When you're here, it's nothing that you have to do special. It's just buy this pack and it says contains a 62 plus OVR or better player. And every time a new promo drop drops the probability of getting better cards, somehow rises EA, does some things that, that the probability is higher. And this is basically the best method. Even if you pull a silver card, you can sell it off for at least 560. So you get your your coins back. And our first pull right now was <coughs> was a rookie, core rookie, and he goes for like yeah 500. I will I will try to put him on the market for 600 simply to make my coins back. So no, and I have reached my my limit. That's fine. Um, you could as well put this card into into exchange set to get low low goals but i don't want to do this since the profit is really higher when um, when you sell it dir off directly yes it takes a bit longer to sell these cards off directly but that's for me it's a matter that i do in between games so i play a game sell off 20 cards play a game sell off 20 cards and so on and so on so easy way to make coins while you're playing and you see again a pull 73 i could sell this off for at least 900 so after taxes we would make an easy 300 coins just of pulling this pack selling these cards we really don't do nothing special you could as well watch netflix or amazon prime or whatever you you're into you could you could do this and even again even if we pull this kind of cards we always can sell them you see this card goes for wow at least 900 coins 800 coins i did didn't know that i wouldn't assume this but yeah you see uh, even silver cards go for for good prices you have to be patient as always with these methods um, you have all the time in the world to pull these packs and perhaps you, ca you can get uh, very very good cards and uh, basically what you shouldn't do is if you pull a power power up card don't sell it uh, don't put it in the in the exchange pack I, I said you can put your cards 
into an exchange pack so um, you can get low golds and sell them off for for higher rates but in this case don't do this because there are power-ups on the market that basically go for up to 50,000 there's a Dan Marino card that goes for 100, 415,000 so just imagine us pulling a card from a 500 coins pack that goes for 415,000 so that's great and you see again here we would have made easy easy coins here not not too much perhaps 150 coins but the important thing is guys you should value these small coins because if you value the small coins you will make huge coins um, in the future or, or in the long term so we will pull some two or three more of these packs to see if we can get lucky and pull something great uh, and afterwards i will show you the pulls that that we made with the first 22 cards that we sold that we sold a couple of them already but i will uh, yeah show you the cast that i pulled the the first 22 times when i pulled this pack so right now again a silver card and just again i will i will see which at which price they go and get and again 600 we could make our money back and that's really important it's not the big coin method with one card it is the big coin method in the long term but it is the safe method as i showed you already the the uni uni methods the playbook method and there is as well the the team builders method Th these are always methods that at least not let you lose money and again i stress it again it's very important for us not to lose any coins on this method and you see it again here again we pull the gold and this might go at least for 1000 now it's for 900 um so but again you you made we made some coins and we didn't do nothing special we didn't do sets we didn't invest big big uh, coins and for me personally it's important not to go under this 1 million because i want to be able to spend a lot of coins on this methods and uh, get get my return of the coins when you guys are curious which roe you can get with this with this method go check out tomato boy he he is a st stats freak and uh, he gathered a lot of data about this method and so you you can see how how, how many cards you need and how many cells you can do and what the roi is on this on this cells on this pool so uh, a very good tip that you can take a look at it so let's see well somebody bought this card off for 7900 uh coin make coin selling i would su suppose um so let's pull the last card and then we will go uh, and see which cards we pulled the, the first 20 cards whoop wrong wrong one <coughs> so what we got out of this pack here it's again a silver so i don't i can't finish it on a silver we need to pull to pull a gold let's wait so yeah guys uh, it's a pity that my first two attempts to to make this video didn't work out so i had to do it the third time this is basically um <laughs> this time i had the the worst pulls of all three times but if we see here and yeah let's go we make that pull bry allen goes went for at least 8000 coins that's crazy and you see it we i will i will try to sell them i don't know if we sold some cards in between and let's 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 take a look let's take a look here can i sell it off yes i can 8600 so you you see that's that's basically crazy with one card 8600 easy coins let's take let's take a look at at our pools that we made so let's go auction house no wrong 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 let's go my auctions and what we see here is we, how many pulls that we do i want two three four five so 20 25 are the newest and out of this 25 we we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 15 out of 25 non-silver and then we have two crazy silvers and this is crazy because as you see here this is a 
a, a, Raven, a Raiders player and since the Raiders theme team is the best theme team you can sell him for a very very high price so basically <clears throat> when we calculate it and that's what we'll, what I will do to end to end the video if we get all this money we will have 600 600 600 600 basic 3000 then we what we do we have here again I would say let's let's calculate it roughly 3000 6000 then and here we, we are having roughly 5,000, 11,000. And then basically if we take a look here, that's crazy. We are something about 28,000. So what do we have? 6, 5, 11, 39,000. 39,000 plus this 7,000. So let's say 45,000. And we guys paid 12,500. So before taxes before taxes it's very crazy we made uh, roughly 27,000 coins after taxes we have some something about 24,000 in coins that we got back so these are really crazy pulls and yeah guys that's that's basically about it I hope you like this video I hope you share this video and if you share this video if you like this video if you subscribe to my channel if you read my medium ch medium channel my medium blog articles in case you don't like to watch videos then you will have more success with the girls who will be the luckiest men or the luckiest women in the world so guys i would be very happy if you do share do like so see you guys in the next video i hope you have a nice day so keep it up bye bye